Furry conventions have been growing at a rapid rate in the last few years, but the majority of them are nonprofits run by volunteers. Is this sustainable? Today I'm going to weigh the positive and negatives if furry conventions were for profit. Let's start with the negatives. As someone who volunteered on the board at a furry convention for numerous years, one of the biggest losses would be that sense of community, collaboration that just comes from working with a nonprofit. That loss would probably lead to a big dip in volunteers willing to work and help the convention, which could definitely increase the cost for the convention quite a bit if they have to hire people. That being said, one of the hardest things to find at a convention is volunteers, especially for the more advanced positions. As it becomes harder and harder to even just get a room at a furry convention, people are probably gonna be going to less or really trying to validate their time there. And I can see this also as a huge drop in volunteers and we do need to find a solution. Keep in mind that nonprofits can pay employees just like any other business. And that's something I'm gonna go into a little bit later. The other big issue would be people creating conventions for the wrong reason. As in, they're just making it for profit. They don't care about the furry convention or they don't care about furries, they just care about the bottom line. That being said, there's nothing we can really do to prevent that currently, other than just not go to those cons if they do end up happening. Another thing I was thinking about is, and this could happen, if it was for profit, a convention could easily be sold. The right amount of money, there's investors, there's shareholders, all of a sudden you have a major company running a convention and that is a scary thought. You can imagine you have, throw a random name brand out there, Amazon, Tesla, Coca-Cola is running the convention. I don't know if I'd like that. That's, some, that's kind of scary. Then comes the point of charity. Will con charities get less money if a convention is for profit? Because the nonprofits will be giving their money or earnings to the charity if they have it left over a lot of the times to balance out the books. I'm not saying every con does that, but a lot of them do. There's also another point to that when it is for profit, we'll go into that in a bit. Performers may feel taken advantage of if it's a for profit because they're not getting paid. I would feel taken advantage of if I knew that Khan was making money, I'm performing there and getting nothing in return. There's another side to that where obviously you could pay the performers, something to think about, but a nonprofit can also pay the performers. If all your performers are paid, yeah, what about the new people? Because are they worth being paid? I'm not sure. Depends how good they are, I guess. A lot of cons I go to, for example, always need a judge. Judges are like the biggest shortage. I don't think a lot of people want to do it. Maybe a little bit more incentive to be a judge. I'm sure some cons do, but I know a lot don't. I know I've judged nada. So if you are looking to judge, there's a lot of opportunities. Now here's one I was thinking of that was a little bit out of left field, but if it was for profit, they could try to grow a con too quickly and make it too big and the con would not survive because their overheads would be huge. They'd expect an attendance of something wacky and then people just don't show up. That's what happens with greed. I've heard people say this before, if it was for profit, you'd probably see some, maybe some weird advertising. Maybe you'd be selling to non-furry companies to advertise. Being a non-profit doesn't really prevent that, but when there is profit involved, you're probably more motivated to sell and add space at the convention to a very non-furry company. Like I said, Coca-Cola. There are a lot of companies that know about furry. We're big. They want our money. Non-furries would be a big, scary thing if it was for profit. Because you would have people maybe that are shareholders, investors, or whatnot that aren't furry that may not understand what it's all about and just care about that bottom line. There's a lot of negative reasons to be a for-profit. But, gotta look at both sides. There's also some positive reasons. Cons can use the profits to grow the con space. If you can grow it. Some conventions are maxed, but some aren't. And they don't have the money the next year to rent more con space. It is something we do need to consider because as it keep going forward, what are we gonna do? If you're zeroing out and you gotta hope for attendance, how do we grow? For-profit, as I've mentioned, can get money from investors. If you're for-profit and you're paying everybody, a for-profit also can still run off of volunteers, so we do have to think about that. Let's say you are paying your staff. Well, you're not gonna have as many people bail. They still will, but it's not the same as when they're volunteering. The amount of times I've volunteered and just somebody doesn't show up because they slept in or I've had to go to their room and literally like shake them out of bed is pretty bad. 
I get it. You're there to have fun. That being said, if somebody's a paid employee, it might help. When it comes to paying employees of a furry convention, there is a lot going on there. For example, how do you pay someone that's out of state? How do you pay someone that's out of country? There's a bunch of work visa stuff. So you probably have to find people that are local and hopefully you have that community that can support that. The con I worked at, the majority of the volunteers did come from the city that I lived in, but there were people that weren't. There's a big stigma on being paid as well at a furry convention. That big stigma would be, what do people get paid? How much are they getting paid? It doesn't need to be public if it is for profit. Then people start saying things like, they're getting paid too much money. Are they taking money out of the con? All that kind of silly stuff. Of course it wouldn't be true. Well, I shouldn't say of course it wouldn't be true. You never know what could happen. But being a nonprofit would prevent that because you do have to actually make everyone's salary public record. When you're a for-profit, you might be taken more seriously by conventions or hotels specifically because they look at you as a business. They might look at your backing. You may have credible people in your company that are a little bit different. Not saying that volunteering, there isn't credible people, but you might have somebody different. You never know. A for-profit could easily find somebody that's very experienced at running large conventions and bring them in maybe from another industry. And that could help grow these conventions or just sustain them. For-profit being run as a business in that kind of structure could also maybe benefit a convention. We mentioned the advertising, but at the same time, could be an advantage to have larger companies advertising at the con, bringing more funding in so the con can grow. I also want to bring up what I've been saying a little bit earlier, a third point. Are we at the point where we need to start paying convention staff at some of these larger cons? Because, wow, to have that many volunteers at MFF for 15,000 people, why not take some of that money that you have left over instead of giving to charity? Hear me out. You're paying furries. Yeah, that's <laughs> Is it a charity? Well, you're supporting the community. We also need that help. Maybe cons can't do that. I said there's a bunch of red tape and all that. Maybe for more advanced positions, they can start doing that. Or we just keep running off volunteers. But at what point does that break? Cons are not getting cheaper. They're getting more expensive. People might not be able to go to as many cons and want to enjoy it. Did we answer the question, should furry conventions be for profit? I don't think so. It's a really big discussion. But I do think there may be a way to compensate some staff somehow. I don't know the answer to that, but maybe there's a way. If not, well, it is what it is. I know I've probably got some things wrong in this video and I'm not an expert in any ways. So please leave a comment if you have something to say. What do you think? Should they be for profit or non-profit? Please, if it is possible for you to volunteer at a convention, that'd be so awesome. Hey, look, another video to watch. Please click it, maybe you'll like it.